Oh my goodness, it's October 13th. Oh my goodness, it's October 13th. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Look, there's a spider web. This is called an orb web. Orb. O-R-B. Orb web. Orb webs that look like spirals are the most common spider webs that you can see. But equally as common are cobwebs. Cobwebs are so oh, cobwebs are so easy to walk into. You're walking, walking up, oh geez, oh no, a cobweb. But if you walk into something that looks like a spiral, you're walking, walking, oh, orb web. <laughs> We're gonna practice that today, you guys. Hi, good morning, it's Wednesday, October 13th, and we are rocking and rolling with worksheets for students here at HKIS. Let's do it, you guys. Mariko, good morning, Itomi. Who else is watching out there? Probably Raina, maybe. Uh, I don't know, actually, if Way over there in the UAE, I wonder if Anna and Coke are watching. Are you guys watching too? Are you watching too, you guys? Well, that was a little bit too close. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, hi everybody. Let's get started. Worksheets for students. Halloween is coming closer, you guys. And this year, our Halloween parties, really, really special. And we're also going to use the ALC. Have you ever ziplined? through a black forest? Well, you will this year. <laughs> For those of you that want to go on the zip line, zip line me, please. Rena, zip line. Rena, say me, please. She's such a good girl, she is. Oh, is that for Greg? Yes? I know, Rena and Greg were having a little tea time here on Wednesday morning. But here we go, let's get started. Worksheets for students, you guys. Cobwebs and orb webs is the name of the day. Here is number one, you guys, number one. There's our really neat window in here. One, two, three, four. It's the beginning of our cobweb, cobweb. Cobweb, orb web. <laughs> I almost said spiral. Cobweb, orb web. Orb web. We drew an orb web this morning, Rena. Rena, you want to show everyone the orb web, Rena? Here, let's put some stuff in the middle here. Go like this. And then go like this in the middle. Ooh, that's tricky. Can't forget, I'm still taking the video over here, right? Look at this. It's an orb web, you guys. So, first, you have to draw your your connecting points. And then, and then from the middle. You start going out, 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 out. And for the upper group today, we're going to learn about platform spiders. Those are the ones that make another type of web. It's called a sheet web. Yeah, those are really not good to walk into. You'll just be covered. You'll be looking like you're wearing a blanket. Ew, a spider web blanket. Ew. All right, here we go. This is number two. Let's carry on. Sorry, Greg. Number two, orb web. I know, we're gonna try that today. Orb, O-R-B, orb, O-R-B, orb, 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 orb. It goes around and out, 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 out. I know it's missing the lines here, but I didn't wanna get confused with the cobweb. Okay, here's number three, here it comes. Number three, number three, look here you have the cobweb and the orb web cobweb orb web why is all this important well the halloween parties are coming soon and all students at the school have presentations each group has a presentation every student has a has a job in that presentation so a big part of this year's halloween parties is talking about halloween nature what can we see in nature? Spiky flowers, spooky trees, orange jack-o'-lanterns, right? Dark mountains, a bright moon, right? Bat 
cats, witches, vampires, werewolves, it's all coming, Rena. But nature, nature is all around us. And during October, during Halloween month, nature becomes a little bit more scary, a little bit more spooky, a little bit more spiky, a little bit more creepy. I know, it all connects in with our curriculum and it's super fun. Here's number four. Number four, cobwebs are fun. Yes, they are. Oh no, which one is the cobweb? Can you find it? You got the word up here. Which one is C-O-B? C-O-B. Which one is C-O-B, you guys? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Rena, do you know Rena? Say, I know. Rena knows. Watch out, you guys. Watch out. Rena knows what's going on over there, Rena, right? Rena, I can do it. This man, she's going to be teaching here before you know it. She'll have to wear one of these shirts. Right, Rena? Let's just change that a little bit. There we go. Rena, Rena, you want to? Rena, yes, Rena? I'm not going to show over there because Rena's busy making something over there. It's kind of a, must be a secret presentation. She must know the Halloween parties are coming, right, Rena? Right, Rena? I can do it. <laughs> Here we go, number five. Number five, so what is this? What is this? I can see a uh, or n, cobweb or orb web. Now, anything that's singular and starts with a vowel, any object that is that there's only one of, and the first letter of that word starts with a vowel, the word before it is either a or an. Which one? An, that's right, that's right. So any, any single object that starts with a vowel, the word before it is always an. An apple, an orange, an orb web. But that's tricky, okay? Only vowel words, only words that start with a vowel, and goes before if there's only one. It's tricky, you guys, it's tricky. All right, and then ah for everything else. Ah just means one. An just means one. But you only use an if the word starts, if the object starts with a vowel. A-E-I-O-U. A-E-I-O-U. Hi, Rena. A-E-I-O-U. Hi, Rena. Hi, Greg. She's good over there. I better get going. Here, this is number six. Number six. This is my orb web. So what does that... That's okay. It's a creepy window, right? That's why there's little pieces everywhere. It's an orb web. What does an orb web look like? If you don't know, you can go back and look at worksheet number five before you do that one. And here's number seven. Number seven, here it is. Left, which one is the left? Left, this is my cobweb with seven lines. So you have to draw your cobweb with seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here's number eight, getting harder still, you guys. You better be focusing. Here it is. There are many types of spiders and many types of webs. But, but no matter what, all spiders have to start off by connecting two points. Apple to apple, apple to apple, no. Branch to branch, yes. Branch to branch, but can you give me two other examples? What to what, what to what? Tree to tree, what else? Left to right, right, window left to right. Uh, tree to tree. Where else do you see spiders, you guys? Where are they connecting? From what to what? Wall to wall. Rock to rock. Okay. We'll use the iPad too if we need to. And here's number nine. Number nine. It's talking about B, so be careful. This looks like a what kind of web? What kind of web? Here's your little index over here. What does that look like? Bit of a review. And here, here, let me help you out. You're walking, you're walking, you're walking. Sorry, email just came in, that's why. 
Uh, so you're walking up HK Chiba Mountain and Forest, walking up HK Chiba Mountain and Forest, and you get to the top. And the top is flat. The top looks a lot like this. So the top of HK Chiba Mountain and Forest looks a lot like this. What type of webs will you see? And why? Look at that, it's true. There's lots of trees up there, lots of branches. So there's lots of connecting points. So because there's lots of trees and lots of branches, lots of, lots of, lots of, just lots of twigs as well. Lots of twigs up there. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Even the mountain goes like this. That can be a connecting point over to something else. So what type of webs do you see up there? What do you think? Sheet webs, funnel webs, orb webs, cob webs. Hi. Hi, Greg. I better go. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed worksheets for students for Wednesday, October 13th. It's really fun making these videos. Really fun. Just as much fun as, as that. Look, what is that over there? I know, that's Chiaki's work, isn't it? Chiaki, what a, oh, let me, hiding the bat face. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's a very cute bat, isn't it? Look at that. Let's have a look at what Chiaki did on the back. She wrote something really neat. My name is Chiaki. I am a bat. I can fly up high. Amazing job, Chiaki. Look at the beautiful writing. What a great job, Chiaki. We have some other work over here too. I didn't look at this one yet. Let's have a look now. See on the back, it's probably very small writing. I think I know who it is. Let's see. Oh, my name is Soma. Oh, that's a yeah, magnifying glass. I am a bat. I can fly up high. That's really cute, Soma. Look at that. Sorry about that. Sorry, I got carried away. I do like Halloween, you guys. One of the funnest times of the year, let me tell you. Okay, I'll see you later then. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye.